Well, if you want to know the inside scoop about Heather Dubrow's new house or the wildest thing that happens on vacation with Teresa Judice, there is one person to turn to, and that's Heather McDonald. The comedian is bringing her Juicy Scoop podcast to the stage starting tonight in our area, and we are so excited to catch up with her now. Good to see you. How are you? I'm good. It's been a fun uh, last few days in New York. I bet. Listen, so you're not just gossiping or giving the scoop on the housewives. Tell us everything you kind of dive into. Well, um, I have this podcast, Juicy Scoop, and it's all about pop culture, whatever is going on. And then I go dive a little deeper, what I really think is going behind, going on behind the scenes or why this couple broke up or why this person's coming out with this thing right before his contract's about to expire. So if you're into pop culture, Hollywood, Real Housewives, I talk about that. And then when I do stand up, it's a lot of that too, but just a little harder and funnier. Right. And because it's live and not recorded, and just, think, I can really, no holds barred. Yes, I can really get into it. And so that's what my stand up is about. Well, clearly, people are liking this because you are the number one female podcaster in comedy with 200, over 200 million downloads, which is like nothing to joke about. Like, that's a, a real serious number. What do you think that people love about your show? And what do you love about the medium of being a podcaster? You know, I grew up talking on the phone with girlfriends. And so when this started, I, I was always like, you know, interested in doing it. But what I like, it's just like, I never run out of things to say. It's very consistent. It's every Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday now. And um, I think people feel like I, they get the scoop on yeah. stuff that they might not, it is not part of their job as like a nurse or whatever they're doing, but you want to know about it. It's an escape. It's, it's never an escape. It's not political. It's not going to get you angry. I disagree. Because, I mean, are you really going to feel that passionate if I like a housewife or not? No. And I make it right. funny. So it's just like a very good, entertaining, funny. Uh, Escapism. Yes, exactly. To get you the hard-hitting pop culture news. Yes. Yes. And I think a lot of people are still enjoying the escapism right now. Definitely. Yeah, Always. I don't think it's going anywhere. But you're bringing the juicy scoop to the stage in our area, New York, New Jersey, Long Island, starting tonight um, through August 18th. Yes. So when... What do you think people expect when they come to your show? What should they expect to see? Um, well, they, they should expect to love it and laugh. And oftentimes, sometimes women go, oh, I'm going to have to drag, drag my husband. That's not at all the case. The husbands love my stand-up. If your husband thinks you're funny, then he's going to like my sense of humor yeah. as well. And um, I'm very honest about my marriage and my life. I've been married for 23 years. I have two boys that are 17 lots and 20. So there's there. lots of funny, like, <laughs> Family relatable stories along with like what's going on in the crazy world that we live in. Right. Well, you're actually pretty good friends with some of these housewives that you talk about. Um, you were on vacation. Teresa was there. You guys got to catch up. Do, now, when you hang out with them, do they ever say to you, please don't put this on the show? All the time. All the time. And do you listen? Definitely. Definitely. Oh, you do. Yeah, okay, yeah. Well, that's good. Because it'll be like, they'll go, this isn't for jo Juicy Scoop. But even my personal friends will say, this isn't for Juicy Scoop. scoop. And if I do feel like there's something, I'll be like, can I, can I say that? Whatever. Yeah. But even with Teresa, she, we were sitting there and she's just talking about like, you know, her former marriage and everything. And I had my phone cause I was going to film my husband, like it's swimming in the water. And she's like, you're not recording that. Are you? And I'm like, oh, absolutely not. Like I would never do yeah. something covert like that or anything. Right. Or so else you wouldn't be invited back. Never. Like <laughs> it would never be trusted. And then when they come on the show as a guest, then I'm like, okay, you know, these are the questions, this is what we're going to talk about. And yeah. then it usually goes and get, that's where the bombshells happen. And they're aware that they're being recorded. So right, no, I would right. never, um, but then sometimes stuff comes out months later and I'm like, I was such a good Catholic. Yeah, yeah. I knew six months ago, and I, <laughs> and I didn't, didn't tell. spill the beans. I didn't tell. Yeah. All right. Well, for info on Heather's dates in our area this week, the podcast, and more, visit heathermcdonald.com or follow her on social media. Thank you so much for stopping Thank by. Thank you. <laughs>